Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, I want to show you how on iOS 6 you can have a new Maps app and you can use it with turn by turn directions. So I'm going to demonstrate using this 4G iPad, but of course the same thing works on the iPhone, just a smaller screen. So here I brought up the new Maps app and I'm going to search for something. So I'm going to search for a coffee shop that's nearby and it's going to find uh, nearby coffee shops and one's there and, and it's going to be selected. If I had multiple ones, I would select the one I wanted. Then I'm going to hit the directions button and it's going to put my current location for the start and this coffee shop for the end and I'm going to hit route. Then it's going to bring up a map with uh, some alternate routes and I can choose which route I want by tapping on it. So route two, route three, I can tap on those, but I'll take the first suggested route. I'm going to press start and I'm going to start to get directions. In addition to that, I'm also going to get spoken directions. Starting route to Starbucks Coffee Company. Head west on 35th Drive. Now, I could start driving now and it will actually update as I go through the directions. Turn left onto Xanthia Court, then turn right onto East 35th Avenue. Turn right onto East 35th Avenue. In three quarters of a mile, turn left onto Syracuse Street. In a quarter mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Arrived at Starbucks Coffee Company. Now I could have also used Siri to make it a completely hands-free experience. For instance, I could have asked Siri to take me to the nearest coffee shop or take me to a specific address. And you can also use your nicknames like work and home. So once I'm somewhere and now I want to get home, I could simply say, take me home. And it should give me directions uh, with turn by turn to get home. So that's a look at how to use the new Maps app with turn by turn directions for your iPad with 4G or for your iPhone. Hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.